back everyone to another episode or welcome back to another episode of you know what this is this is victoria to popular demand mod i could give you told i totally could do that low minimum wage sure why not you guys get low minimum wage i'm being a nice dictator i forget that sometimes so yeah let's be the nice dictator you guys can go get low minimum wage have you guys yourself a tea some crumpets and actually know that i actually do care about my people in this game or at least I pretend to. So anyways, last episode we were upgrading our factories to be more uh, factory-ish. And to upgrade all of our ports and stuff because I seriously like, really love upgrading my forts. I don't know why. Like, it's, it's like, I used to hate it and now I just love it. Uh, it's, it's really weird. Like, I, I consider it kind of weird, but yeah. Alright, let's just keep upgrading though, because we can. And let's see, did I get everywhere in this region? You don't want you don't want to mess this up because you don't want to be like, oh shoot, I forgot that one region. So yeah, there we go. Finished up all this region. Alright, next move to Ethiopia. Alright, and let's see. Boom boom. Alright, doom, boom, boom. Yeah, we still got some play practices right there. Yeah, just keep expanding. Alright, there we go. Ethiopia is basically all good. Let's see over here. I haven't really finished up the first round of factories I built for them. Over here, I think we've actually finished up this colony. I think it's pretty well armored. Except for this little spot right there. Yeah, except for that little spot right there. We basically got this colony upgraded to, to niceness. This is a nice colony right there. Over here on the little island of Taiwan, not really much going on. Over here, not really much going on. I mean... I think there was like one spot that was not being upgraded yeah this little spot right here of the naval bases let's go start upgrading those things so I like to upgrade those things too and the things upgrading all right there we go guys now all of them upgraded and now it's time to start planning our revenge against all no it's time to start planning all of our revenge by the way when can I do this again the third okay the third all right it's time to start planning all of our revenge against all the rest of the Europeans that have messed me over over the years. I think, and I've already talked about this multiple times, we have to basically... Hey, Safari! Finland! I don't really care about Finland. If, if Finland was more important to my goals in life, I would be caring. Acceptable minimum... I don't think you guys want acceptable minimum wage. What do you guys really want right now? I'm not going to give you guys... Ooh, pollutions. Pollution seems to be leading it. Tricklet subsidies. Uh, no, I'm not giving you guys pensions. Sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I just... If I give you guys pensions, I'm literally... Oh, wait. There's not that many poor anymore in my country. That's surprising. Does that mean I have lots of... Am I paying too much right now? Yeah, I think I might be paying too much. Dang it. <laughs> but I have to keep my... Oh, gosh. There is... There was literally a factory costing me a thousand right now. Two factories costing me too much. Ah, this is... I feel like this is going to collapse my economy, but I'm going to stop subsidizing anything and just let it collapse. That's... that's a little bit too much. A thousand, two thousand to support an ammunition factory. I do love guns, but that seems a little bit obsessive. Like, seriously, that's really obsessive. A thousand for guns. Wow. Wow, just... Wow, yeah, just everyone that's factory working, just go to different countries and start working somewhere else. Like, seriously, wow. <laughs> I, I really don't have anything else to say, people, except, wow, that's a lot. Okay, let's get some mass politics and just keep upgrading everything on that side. We're going to keep going down, and it seems like Spain's finally going to get control of that little tiny island. The Panama Canal! Yay! I think America finally won that. I think. Let me let me go check. Let me hope Spain is not the one that gets to build this. Panama apparently broke off. It is Great Britain. No way. It is Great Britain that's going to start building the Panama Canal. Oh, that's glorious. That right there has officially made a good day for me. Yeah, it seems seems like a lot of these. I'm probably going to collapse a lot of my like gun business, but like it's kind of destroyed itself. Construction, no! And what the heck, Walshina has been born again! Colonial incident with the UK! I don't really care. Give me some more genderless people. Seriously, I love those guys. And enact women's suffrage. 
By the way, I'm going to enact women's suffrage, so for all the people who don't want me to enact women's suffrage, I don't really care because it's a way better idea than anything else I have. So women's suffrage, yay! So now women can vote, which gives me like another like hundred dozen people. And hopefully, and hopefully that will quell a lot of rebellions in my day. Okay, uh, we don't need to keep this anymore, we don't need to keep this anymore. I literally have so many factories right now that just... People just have to be smart about it, and I should be able to have a good economy. Literally, that's all you have to do. Bohemia, for instance, it doesn't really need much except capitalists building its country. Because it already has enough people. It just needs... Yeah. Just that. Hey, guys, give me one second. Hey, back. So, yeah. Capitalists, you just have to build just a little bit in your country. Seems like there's actually some people that are actually trying to revolt in my country. Kind of weird. Actually, I don't think they will revolt... Oh, yeah, Chad. Shoot, 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 Oh, man. I think France is probably going to beat me. Hungarian. The Hungarians have nationalists in my country again. Really? Go hunt these sons of... Uh, Plato down. And that wasn't exactly the best ghost wood. But, no. Oh, no. I think France is actually going to beat me here, because I can't actually compete against them. That means my colonies are going to be permanently divided. Shoot. <laughs> oh, gosh. And then also I have this big gigantic... I, I should also mention, I should be worried about this. Uh, immigrant attraction. Men for the colonies. The colonies have suggested we organize a recruitment drive. Yeah, of course. <laughs> if they want to go to the colonies and start becoming actual literal states for me and start actually producing factories... Why should I be the one to tell him no? Okay. Yeah, it seems like all my all my gunpowder business is starting to collapse. I can't really do much about that because, like, literally my entire... My entire, like... I can't support that much, basically. It, there becomes a point where you can support factories, and there becomes a point where you can't support factories. And that literally is a point where you're just like, yep. <laughs> I mean, I literally can't support all of it. You guys go over here, go support that unit, make sure they don't die. So it seems like I'm probably going to lose this race right here for for uh, there. So I'm just going to withdraw. It was a good try by me to try to win to try to try win this, but inevitably France won. Good job, France. You guys officially divided my colonies into three different parts. So I have three different colonies. I have Northern, Northern Australian, Eastern, and Western Austrian Africa. Don't really have it all united because of France. France is probably the biggest bully and the biggest jerk I've ever dealt with in this game. No lie. No lie. So let's see, what do you guys want right now? Uh, Alright, we can give you some chocolate pensions. Yeah, there we go. Now please stop. Yeah, please stop being so, you know, eh about everything. I'm seriously a good guy, so stop being, like, angry at me for stupid things I might do. Okay, start building more artillery, because I'm going to try to build up these units right here. Oh, by the way, also start building some more Hussiers. Like, build, no, not in Africa. We don't need them in Africa. We need them in, not in Asia. We need them here. So, one, two, three. Four, five, six. There we go. Got all the men we need? Yes, we do. Alright, good. Who cares? Wow, that's really mean. Yeah, seriously, help that colony. If people want to go help, seriously, go help. We need to help our colonies stay alive. Seriously, we need to help them stay alive. That way they feel very good. That way I don't feel like an evil person when they, like, secretly, once, once I have to give them independence and, like, Oh, a hundred years or so, or fifty years. At least they know I was a good tyrannical dictator to them. And that's what really counts in our world today, is knowing that you are a good tyrannical dictator. Apparently I missed a little part over here in our good colony of, uh, Persia. Which is nice to have, I can't believe I actually got Persia! Oh man, and then, I can't believe this formed! Seriously, what's she not- that's so weird. That's that's really weird. And officially, I think we're watching it gone. I think the Ottomans have been literally torn to just this. Like, this is all their spheres of influence. I mean, we've literally torn everything away from them. They have 
they are basically what the Ottomans look like. Actually, I think less than what the Ottomans look like by the start of World War One, which is scary to think about. Local business fails. Uh, support the business. Sure, we'll support the business. I don't mind that. Okay, keep keep destroying all these like non-working factories because literally I have so many people. Like I have a lot of people, so just if my capitalists are smart, they'll build up good factories. Speaking of which, how many capitalists do I have right now? Let's see. I have 43k uh, capitalists, and I'm basically letting them run amok. They better not destroy my country. That's the only rule of this entire thing, is they better not destroy my country. And, okay, I gotta see how this entire colonization for the world worked out. So, basically it came down to, Southern Africa was completely conquered by all of the UK. While the UK has a firm grasp of Southern Africa, um, no, nothing, no nation survived over here. I think the only two nations that actually survived the colonizations was Li Liber Liber Liberia, uh, Wateria, and Morocco. I got, you, take a moment to just salute those nations, seriously. For surviving this long against other European powers, <laughs> they honestly deserve it. So, but for our colonial ambition, though, I think we're about done with our colonial ambition because I have enough people, enough money, enough everything. Now what I need to do is start like... Okay, you guys... No, I need you to go right there. And let's see. You guys, all you horsemen, go right there. Yeah, that way this unit's also very deadly. Morally clothing, discard! Yeah, discard the rags. I don't really care. Lose some money and lose some production. Doesn't really give me too much of a bad taste in my mouth. And education's finally becoming good in my country. And I'm allowed to build radios. Good. We can finally listen to that stuff called jazz. I've heard it's really popular in America. I love to hear about it. It's all jiggity and jaggedy and whoop de whoop and yeah. I really hope America has invented jazz by now, otherwise it'd be really bad, right? <laughs> Just telling you about the future. Existence of shafts, and yeah. Yay! The first, uh, yeah! Oh yeah! Take that, all you other European countries! You guys weren't the first to discover the North Pole. I was. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Speaking of which, who is the most prestigious country right now? It is our good and lovely founders, the UK, who have 1,000. Wow, I'm really behind. Next is France. And next is us. Okay, we're like third in terms of that. Okay, I'm not too, I'm not too bad in terms of prestige. What we really need to do is just like destroy, destroy either France or the UK in terms of prestige. Until next year, uh, because they're kind of annoying right now in terms of prestige. But let's go get all of our men grouped up. Let's go get these guys also grouped up. Let's get brilliant. Also group up these guys and get those last two men in there. Yes, this is also another army right over here. Go get these guys over there grouped up. I also think we also need a uh, good old engineer. Probably build two. I think I'm going to start adding two engineers to every single army. That way it can start balancing out a little bit more. That means I should probably actually not put this in here. Because it's actually going to be way too much. Let's see, is there any army that needs an engineer? Uh, needs, an, needs a soldier. You do. Alright, you guys go over there. And you guys... Still having a lot of my factories collapse, but sooner or later they're all going to recover. Like, seriously, we're having... The factories that do survive basically are becoming big. <laughs> In other words, they're becoming big, and I'm starting to plant coffee! Let's see, have I finally overtaken the coffee industry? Like, seriously, I should be overtaking the coffee industry. Oh, wait, that's tea. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute, why am I not even on here? Coffee! All right, yay! I just surpassed Netherlands, and I'm still there's still it's a still a pretty good market too, which is good. But we own so much, like, man, our world right now is just so cool. The World Trade Fair, yay! Hopefully, it's not a bust. Uh, shadowy, hmm, I don't really care. Just do whatever you guys need to, okay? Or do whatever you guys not need to, to just support our country. Just but as long as the ultimate goal of whatever you guys just did is to support my country, I will support it all the way. Now, with Germany though, we could probably gain a good alliance with Germany. I really do want to do that. I also really do... Wow, you guys really want me to get good status for pollution. 
Like, I, I didn't know why people were that, that adamant about pollution. Like, seriously, they're like, we want to get on pollution, yada, 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 yada. I'm like, wow. Didn't know we cared that much. Pluto discovered by a little country in India. Wow. That just got to bring some, like, Indian pride right there. I mean, seriously, with all advanced technology in the West, we could not figure out and find Pluto. You know, Miss Sora, I don't remember where you are exactly. There you are. You guys deserve credit, because that takes a good amount of guts. Defeating the other European countries and basically saying in your home country, Yeah, we rock! That's awesome. Uh, we shall see orderly election. Uh, the iron parts... Man, our country is just not good at creating iron parts. Like, our, our iron just destroys itself instantly. It's like... Yay, we're here, and then it destroys itself. Yay, we're here, and then it destroys itself. Yay, we're here, and then it destroys itself. It's like, wow. Okay. Rich. More Jindoist. Yes, I want more Jindoist. Anger the rich if you have to. I don't really care. And while we're here, and while we have a free moment, I completely forget about this. Let's start also upgrading some of our good friends' lands. Like... I completely forget about this sometimes, but we do have to upgrade some of our friends' lands because, like, yeah, they're our friends, and they kind of need they kind of need the kind of uh, massive love I can uh, provide them. Love being in this case money. So, yeah, let's make sure we also upgrade the land, and let's see. Let's go to our good friends of Portugal, Spain, and and all you guys. I don't even know. For speaking of which, how are my investments in you guys? Cause I haven't really checked in it. I haven't really checked in a very long time, but hopefully they're doing good. Hopefully, uh, Spain's obviously one of my biggest investors ever because they're just like an awesome vassal. So proud of them being my vassal. Brazil's kind of awesome sometimes, but I really just have them because like they really do provide a lot for my country in terms of buying goods and. Who would not want them to buy your goods? Who would not want to buy Austrian products, for that matter? Austrian products are the finest and the greatest in the world. So yeah, of course they would buy products from us. Venezuela, we're also going to upgrade them because they also are technically part of our little sphere of influence thing we're doing. So is Argentina, which I'm finally glad they finally stabilized themselves. It's good to finally have stabilized vassals. Let's go right here, go right here, go right there, and let's go finish off right there, go right there, and right there. Yeah, there we go. Anyone else we need to kind of upgrade? Oh yeah, we could probably upgrade some of Sp Spain's colonies. I mean, it's not like, I mean, not Spain's, Portugal's, Portugal's colonies. I mean, it's not like it's critically important, but I guess having it would not be bad. And actually, how does the world look when it has your sphere of, spheres of influence on? So, I don't want to brag, but I'm pretty sure I'm the most powerful person in the entire world right now when it comes to spheres of influence in Europe. I literally own all the Balkans and I own Spain. I mean, all these four countries right here can argue all they want, but they really know that I could destroy all of them if I really want to. Uh, British definitely have a really good control over over all of the all of the uh, you know South Indian Southeast Indian region. I could also try to get into Queen Empire. No, we can't because it's a new. Oh yeah, it's a new uh, spearing mechanics. And then over here in the uh, South America, I definitely have the most influence. And then America has like the second most influence. They basically own North America. I don't really care about North America. And Canada, you have disappointed. Wait, you guys are about to climb up the Great Palisades. You're finally gonna kick out these guys. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, wait, 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 wait. How close are you guys to kicking them out? Oh, yes. Okay, they're about 200 points off. So that means if we just like fought one war with these guys, we basically kicked them out of Great Power status, which would be so nice. If we could get Netherlands out of Great Power status, that'd be great. You guys don't even know how great that would be. But before we do that, I still got another... I still got a couple more pet peeves I still have to deal with. Like, I still have to deal with the Yugoslavian problem. I still have to deal with the Germany problem. I still have to deal with the uh, French problem. I have to deal with so many problems. I'm just waiting for France and uh, Germany to duke it out again. 
So I'm gonna most likely if they were to do get out again, I'm gonna probably choose Germany and try to free my Bavarian friends. And I want to thank you guys for watching. We've been having a fun time here in our little Austrian-Hungarian game where we basically dominated. Literally dominated everything. And I've loved every second of it. So I want to thank you guys for watching this fun Let's Play. And I'll see you guys next time.